So if you have this kind of production function where the amount of output you get is equal to six times the amount of capital squared plus three times the amount of labor cubed, we can calculate pretty easily the marginal product of labor and capital. We just need to take the derivative with respect to labor. So the derivative of this first term with respect to L is zero because there's no Ls here, but for the second term, we're gonna use our exponent rule, bring the three down, and then we have three L, and we have to subtract one from the exponent, so we have three L squared, okay? So the marginal product of labor here is nine L squared. The marginal product of capital, so if we take the derivative of this first term, we have six times, we bring the, k, the two down on top of the K, K, and then we subtract one from that exponent, and we end up with just one. Then the derivative of the second part with respect to k is zero, because there's no k's there, and so this thing's equal to 12k. Next we can say, is the marginal product of labor constant, increasing, decreasing, what? And so to figure that out, we need to take the derivative of the marginal product of labor with respect to L. So we take the derivative of this guy, which is going to be 9 times 2 times L times 2 minus 1 is just going to be 18L. This thing is greater than 0, and so we have increasing marginal product of labor. For the capital, we take the derivative with respect to K. This is really simple. The derivative of this is just 12. And that's also greater than zero, which means in this case we also have increasing marginal product of capital. There you go.